So in this video, we're going to review the different features of the different types of rock um, that are found to make up our earth. So that is our sedimentary rock, our igneous rock and metamorphic rock. And to help us do that, I have enlisted the help of some very important chocolates. Um, so let's start with sedimentary rock. What is it that we know about sedimentary rocks? Um, well, they are made up of sediments. They're made up of sediments that have been um, eroded away and deposited somewhere and then um, after that deposition um, with a lot of compaction they're actually compacted into a rock and the rocks tend to show us these beautiful layers um, of the different sediments that have been deposited in a particular place over time okay and so the the thing about our sedimentary rocks are the layers that helps us to identify them as sedimentary. And so the type of chocolate that I thought would help us to remember the layers would be a very trusty Kit Kat. I've got a chunky one so that we can see those layers really well. So I'm just gonna cut it up and let's have a look at how it compares. So let's have a look at our, our Kit Kat. So in our Kit Kat, you can see that it has all of these layers. And there's different color variation in our layers as well to represent different types of sediments. And so if we compare our Kit Kat and our sedimentary rock, we can definitely see some of those similarities between them. So the Kit Kat helps us to remember that sedimentary rocks have layers, layers and layers of sediment that has been compacted together. The next type of rock we are going to review is igneous rock. So our igneous rocks, they are rocks that have been formed from the cooling down of molten rock or liquid rock. So this can happen um, underneath the earth's surface or it can happen after a volcano um, and, and through the cooling down of the lava that comes out of the volcano. So um, one of the features particularly about our igneous rocks, and I've got pumice as an example here, is that sometimes um, because the cooling down happens quite quickly, particularly if it's um, on the outside of the Earth's surface, then, um, and remember that's called extrusive rocks, so the extrusive on the outside of the Earth's surface, and remember intrusive is underneath the Earth's surface. So this one, pumice, um, a feature of this particular rock um, and a lot of other extrusive igneous rocks is that um, you can see the presence of these little air bubbles Okay, so those air bubbles have been trapped in the molten rock or the lava, okay, and then the rock has formed and then the air has been released later on. And so you get all these little air bubbles. So the type of chocolate that's going to help us remember that sometimes air can get trapped into the rock, um, in our igneous rocks, is going to be our Cadbury Bubbly. And I got a different one this time. This one's Bubbles Milky. So let's have a, a look inside and see if that's gonna help model what an igneous rock can look like. How good is that? Try and zoom in a little bit for you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here we've got our Cadbury Bubbly and you can see all those little bubbles on the inside there and how similar that looks to the air bubbles in the pumice. Okay, so our Cadbury Bubbly or another chocolate that um, could be used would be like the Aero. That helps us to remember that sometimes air bubbles can get trapped in the formation of our igneous rocks because they're formed from the molten rock. So magma underneath the earth's surface or the lava on the outside of the earth's surface. And our last type of rock to review is our metamorphic rock. So remember that morph means to change. And so metamorphic rocks are actually made up of lots of other different types of rocks. So potentially um, other igneous rocks or sedimentary rocks or a mixture. Um, and these have been changed under intense heat and pressure. So I, an example I have here of a metamorphic rock, and you can see the evidence of all these different types of rocks, different colors of the um, minerals that are in them. Okay, and so the type of chocolate that's gonna help us to remember that a metamorphic rock is lots and lots of different ones all morphed together, Marvelous Creations. So here's some of the inside of the Marvelous Creations. You can see that there's all different things that are in there. I got a little bit gypped with my Marvelous Creation bar. Most of them only had like one little square in there, but 
Um, here we've got a few different types of rocks and jellies in there. Okay, so that helps us to remember marvelous creations like metamorphic locks, lots of different types of rocks that had been morphed into one new one. Marvelous creations is our uh, model for our, met our metamorphic rock. Now I have to go because I've got all this delicious chocolate to eat. See ya!